that's just a start out, start out. I mean, 38 minutes in your first game back. Steve said he was hoping not to play that much. How you feeling? Uh, I feel fine, no worse. So that's the good thing. And just the tale of two halves, just what do you think turned things around for you guys in the second half? A little more urgency, figuring out the, the way they were playing, so simplifying our defense a little bit. Um, I mean, just stringing together some stops and, and turning that into offense. We know they can come out with a lot of energy. They made shots, made three. So they get into the lane, breaking us down one on one. They were getting everything in that first half. Seth, uh, Steve made it seem as though this ankle situation has been something that's been nagging you for some time. Just how long have you been dealing with this ankle injury? Yeah, I was dealing with it um, probably a month before the trade. So it's been a while. It's just. Like I said, something like I said earlier, some some that I'm just gonna have to to manage and deal with until the off season. Is it one of those things where you wake up in the morning and it feels you make a judgment call in the morning whether you're good to go or like when do you know that you're you're good for a game? Uh, no, just uh, just the, just the plan put together with the um, the training staff, coaches, and just figure out how it go. I know it's going. It's not something that's gonna go away. So as um, long as it's not getting worse, uh, I should be I should be good. The last couple of games, you know, here, he was throwing a second defender at Kevin almost every time. It seemed like, did you feel like once you got back out there, that's something you can alleviate? Yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, we're just watching the last few games, the way they were guarding them, sending two, three people at them, no matter where he is on the floor. That's just my job to step on the floor, um, be aggressive, knock down shots. And like I said, like I said, just try to create space for him, make the game easier for him and, and I mean, just just keep the game simple. I mean, you shouldn't be able to to just run a two three guys at at a at a play at the entire game without having to pay for it. So um, I think we did a good job of taking advantage of it tonight. Seth, after one of your threes, I think you said I'm a uh, problem with a certain <laughs> word in between there. Just at what point did you realize you kind of had it going tonight? Uh, I mean, I just I knew I was going to get good shots. I mean, it's pretty simple. I mean, I know if I if I'm getting open shots, if Kay's finding me in good positions, um, and I'm gonna make a high percentage of the, of the open catch and shoots, and then just also being able to put the ball on the floor, be aggressive. That's something I can do too. So um, it's just for me, it's just a matter of whether I'm kind of shots I'm creating and our offense is creating, and uh, I feel like I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna make a good percentage of them. So just trying to be aggressive and keep the game simple. Do you look at the standings as like maybe a source of fuel to to play well, or is that something that you not look at? I may mean, look at them, but it don't change my process or what I do on a daily basis. I'm gonna go in there and get get ready for the game, um, approach every game the same since the urgency trying to win it, and I think that goes for everybody. We like, we know the position we're in. We know probably not to be in that playing game regardless, but we got to go out there. and 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 win games but even more importantly we got to figure out the way we're going to play when we do get to that playing game and into the playoffs <clears throat> uh, i on how much you've been following march madness davidson and michigan state are tied they'd get duke in the next round just what would the conversation look like with your brother if that happens yeah they're in a close one right now so hopefully uh they match up and we can put a little wager or something get some get it make it interesting it's either gonna be steph or it's gonna be draymond um, I know Draymond said something on his podcast that he's looking for all for all Dukies to take best with if 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 they match up in the second round. So either way, Davidson and Michigan State is gonna be a fun one for me.